Hi, this is a part one of a neural network uh, deep learning tutorial of classifying uh, monkeys uh, images. Uh, you can click uh, this link for the, the full uh, playlist for all the, all the steps, all the parts. As I said, this is a uh, part one. And in part one, we are going to discover our data, the images. First of all, we are going to download from uh, Kegel the, the the data as you can see the data is uh, divided to a training set and validation set and also there is a csv file with all the classes for example uh, we can see the the n0 class this is the first class and the list of uh, images and this is n1 class with a list of images and there is also a validation uh, validation set with all the, the classes. Each class is N0 to N9. And as I said, uh, there is also a CSV file with uh, all the names and more information of the, the images. So first of all, let's download the images. Let's extract, extract the, the zip file. And this is the, it's not a CSV, it's a TXT file, of course and we are going to copy and store it in a, in a folder we will call it uh, 10, uh, 10 monkeys you are most welcome to subscribe my channel for more more videos so now we are extracting the all the data and this is the txt file and this is the training set for example we can see the the n6 n6 uh, class And this is the, the TXT file. We have a label, we have a, a Latin name, a common name, and then the number of train images and test images. Okay, first of all, let's uh, start discovering the data and create, uh, create some uh, variables that will help us uh, during the training. So some importing globe and OS in order to to discover and, and navigate uh, in the in the folders let's create two variables for the uh, folder name for the training folder and the test folder Basically, we are copying it from for our from our folder, and just change the direction of the slashes. Now we are, we are going to create a function that help us uh, to see and, and understand what is inside uh, each folder. Uh, the this function will have one argument, the, the name of the folder, name of the directory. And now we are going to examine what is inside this uh, directory argument. Uh, first of all, we are going to, uh, as, as we can see, inside the training folder there are uh, 10 folder each folder contain its own uh, images so first of all we are going to to get the the amount of how many images are in each uh, folder
we are going to print uh, the content uh, of each uh, folder that means uh, we're going to print the content of the train folder and the test folder as well Now we are going to, to read or load uh, the monkey label uh, txt file. Uh, this is the files, as you can see there is a header and then there is the list of the classes and for each class we can see the, the name of the class and the how many uh, images. So first of all let's uh, build a list with all the, the labels. As I said the labels are the headers inside inside the, the text file of course when we are going to start loading the file we are going to start from the second uh, row and uh, we are going to skip the first row, the, the, header, the headers row we are going to use pandas that means we are going to build a, a data frame and then we are going to manipulate the data frame to our needs so let's uh, read the file, this is the, the full name of the file, the text, text, text file and of course the, the whole path. Change the slashes and we are going to add an argument, uh, first of all uh, the columns uh, of course and then we are going to skip the first line. And let's print it. First of all, you can see the, the first print, which is the, uh, the data folder. How many images and how many uh, subfolders. And now this is the data frame. And let's do some manipulation uh, on the data frame. The first column, the, the label. Uh, we are going to, to trim the, the spaces there is a spaces uh, you can see before and after the, the N0 and of course all other uh, labels so we are going to use the strip uh, function which is part of the, the string uh, class uh, in order to trim these uh, spaces Next, uh, the Latin uh, name column. Uh, as you can see, there is a slash t, which is a, a separation tab. We are going to delete it. We are going to replace it with, a, with a, a, an empty string. And we are going to do uh, the same trimming using the strip function. Next, the, the, col the common uh, name, we are going to strip it uh, as well, uh, let's run and see the outcome, as you can see there are no spaces. Uh, we would like to delete uh, the first uh, index column, so basically we are going to set the label column as our index. All this process is relevant uh, for uh, finding the, the right common name using our label, using our uh, N0, N1, and etc. And now let's uh, convert it to a list, a very simple list with a, a label and a name. Let's print this, uh, this list. And let's
let's for example print our uh, first label just to see that everything is working and yes we are getting the, the first name okay uh, this code we are going to use it uh, uh, in our training set to, to look for the name uh, look for the real name and look for the predicted name so let's continue next and show uh, some uh, images we would like to create a, a new function we call it display directory and this function will uh, get an argument uh, the name of a folder and for each category for each type of monkey it will uh, uh, import uh, images we're going to for each uh, for each uh, row we are going to import six images and display these six images since we have uh, uh, 10 classes then basically we will have uh, 60 uh, images and we would like to build this function in order to to do it a uh, uh, quick and please follow this uh, tutorial it uh, will be based off a uh, pipelot and we will uh, as i said earlier we'll display six images in each row All the code of course will be in my uh, github repository you can download it uh, you can use it it's free okay this is the the subplot for displaying the, the images basically it's uh, uh, creating a, a space area for for all the images and now we are starting to to loop inside each uh, folder and then we are going to uh, retrieve maximum of uh, six images in each folder Let's run it with the train folder to see that we are uh, getting all the list of uh, images inside of uh, each, uh, each folder just to see that we don't, don't have any syntax error and uh, let's uh, continue we are going to use the a random function to choose these uh, six images This would be the full path to our uh, random image. For each uh, class, uh, this for loop will run six times. Okay, now we can see that we have uh, for each, it's, it's like a, a, a bench of uh, six images for each class. As you can see this is the first six this is the second six I hope uh, it's understood it's a really straightforward process of uh, choosing the six random 
six random uh, um, files. Now let's say uh, read uh, and upload the, the the image. Now let's say retrieve the name of the of the monkey using our previous code. And let's say uh, uh, show only the, the 10 uh, first characters because there isn't enough space uh, in the display uh, in the display area. Near each monkey we are going to display the name of the monkey. Show the image. And this axis off means that there will be no grid in the display area. And the last uh, show function is displaying the, the whole information after the all the, the loops were finished. Okay, this is the outcome. In each row there are six images of the same the same class, the same monkey. So this is the first part of the tutorial. Thank you.